and welcome to Combative Wing Chun. Today I'm going to show you some pressure points that you can use in a street fight situation to maximize your chances of success and being able to defend yourself. So we're talking about pressure points that are the most vulnerable. There are some pressure points that don't really work. They may work sometimes, but they only work maybe 40% of the time. For example, pressure points in the biceps and the chest. And there are pressure points that, but if you got huge muscles, uh, if you're fighting someone with huge muscles, a lot of times it doesn't work. Okay, so the pressure points I'm talking about are the ones that have the highest chance of success. So here are a few of them. We're talking about dirty fighting, okay? You're not gonna use these techniques in the, uh, somebody's class or dojo that uh, trains sport, you're just gonna get kicked out and people are gonna hate you, okay? This is for self-defense. If you do train this, just be careful because these are very vital areas of the body. First of all, first one is the eyes. How do you strike them? Fingertips, okay? You can strike them with your thumb, eye gouge like this, or fingertips. So that's the first area of attack of pressure point. Second one is the throat. There are two areas here, the carotid arteries, any kind of attack, you can attack with your fingers once again, like this. You can attack with a phoenix um, punch with these fingers to get into there. Or you can attack with the C-clamp. Once again, the C-clamp can be either used to grip into the air pipe or you can use it as just a strike into the air pipe. It also causes a lot of pain and a lot of damage. Just strike it with the C-clamp, okay? Another area, obvious one, is the groin. Okay, easy way to hit the groin is just with your palm. Okay, uh, sometimes people will hit with the back of the fist like this. And you kind of whip it upwards. Um, guys, you probably know that the most painful one is just a flick, right? So use that, use the flick. You can flick it with your fingers, flick it with your fingers this way, or flick it with your knuckles this way, or just do a volleyball serve. Okay, those work very well. Knees work very well. Okay, so those are some very vital points that even big tough guys are vulnerable to. Hey, so those are three real world pressure points. I'm sorry to disappoint you. I'm not gonna show you five places I can press in a sequence to make the guy go paralyzed like in the movies, all right? It doesn't happen in real life. So these are real life pressure points you can use, the eyes, the throat, and the groin. In real life situations against bigger, stronger, and more aggressive attackers, they work with the highest chance of success. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe to this channel for more self-defense tips. We'll see you soon in the next video.